Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first day back after our very successful and very exciting 2023 MPBL All-Star. Zamboanga, I guess. Uh, Jensen and Caloocan, they're getting those top two teams. If they want to get into that number eight seat, they have to get this win first. And they got to do this convincingly so that they get good momentum heading into those two important games. But so far, they're off to a good start. Hope to enter the playoffs because even if they have to win or even if they win the remaining ball games here as Carlo Escalambre knocks it down from the outside even if they do that they have to hope it was a terrible fall right there Sarangani recovers with his steal Escalambre will he go back to back yes sir he does and boy Sarangani right now showing a lot oh, leaves it but oh, wow. swatted away by Jasper Boa oh yeah what an emphatic rejection right there you gotta limit your your opponent's uh, output and you gotta be able to defend it much better a lot of the teams that they played against they allowed more than 100 points and so you can't be doing that uh, if you want to build something on a good sweeping hook right there by Redel Fabro finally putting Beagle on the board Monteclaro swishes it through boy and the three points really just online here so James Martinez in Maui Escocia mm -hmm. fresh from a championship in the DBL Trying to watch their former team here. AJ Vito left all alone on the other side, and that is easy basket rebound. Monteclaro looks up the lob. Marelao gets it and finishes. And Danny Marilao, one of those guys that's the go-to for uh, Sarangani. And you know, you wish that it would have been a better standing for their team because he could have figured battling it out with. Sobrang automatic si Jeff Comia. <laughs> Pasok pa lang, kanyon ka agad eh. But Vito returning the favor right there with a three from the left wing. Mm -hmm. He's definitely got seven attempts for a vehicle so far in this game. Comia, bounce pass, Marilao, fall away jumper, that's good. The short. We've talked about it in our pregame that the Volcanoes have lost by an average margin of almost 25 points per game this season. Their biggest loss, and that was definitely a big hole to fill since James mm -hmm. was not only the league, the leader of his team, was also one of the league leaders in terms of scoring. Yeah, well, it's actually three things. One, you spoke about it, you know, around how James would have his visions inside the floor, seeing those guys cutting inside. Max Sevilla has 23 seconds of this first quarter. Comia will not wait for the final buzzer. He'll go for it. Yeah. And for good reason. Yeah, it's the second three-pointer already. Oh. You know, with the situation of their team. Pero kita naman sa performance niya, lalo na their past games against strong contenders. Na hirili. Gayosa spots up for three. Swishes it through. Alfred Gayosa finally getting one from the outside. Uh, he makes... Kung saan... He's trying to play more from the outside, trying to use his shooting touch and not really utilize his athleticism. You're required to have really good decision making and a good dribbling skill sets if you want to be a scorer in this game. Yeah, that's the same thing I could say that happened to KG Canaleta. Mm -hmm. Just that got that longevity as we see this action right here. Three straight on by Wong. Fluid in that shot. Today, in a time where they are only playing with 11 players on their roster for today's match. Oh, you could really feel. He got the lead on his previous trip to the line. Now, Redel Fabro extend that to a three-point cushion after that one dribble pull-up from the right side. Really, Bicol Volcanoes really just waking up at the right time here. They're up three points. Time out right now. Yeah, really just staying more active uh, defensively, allowing them to get through those rebounds. But and again, Scalambre getting those shots in and just quarter. Oh boy, what a game that was. Mark Poole getting a great pass from Jesse Saitanan. That's pristine execution from this. That shot. See here, Kawilan getting down low and Saitanan attracting the double team. Redel Fabro looking at that basketball forgetting that Mark Poole was cutting that leads to a three-point tight or maybe go within a point at this possession Ilad being patient underneath that's a beautiful reversal to me even on foul yeah, indeed. coach Mike D'Antoni is there somewhere on the list yeah most probably because of the way uh, the, the speed that's playing this game Kawilan to beat the buzzer there you go Sarangani just like how they started this game and after 
leading for the most part and the uh, vehicle catching up at 30. Right now they're back in the driver's seat, 33-32. been much more of a concern now because they're trying to make a push for the playoffs oh wow excellent move what a way to open up the second half here for oh, by Jeff Comia leading up to that left hand and wraparound pass to Mark Poole Denzel Wong trying to answer with a three and that is good right away first touch of the basketball here in the third quarter by Jeff Comia streaking down the floor Mark Poole Trying to channel a little bit moving screen as you see the outside shot here. RJ Dallas was right there to challenge. Yep. Yeah. That was actually good defensive positioning by RJ Dallas. Uh, he's remained on top of that post from the MPBL to really work on his game, and it has been showing here in the third quarter. That's something that is not new to us. Benji Jimenez hitting from the outside. And boy, they've been playing around with this defense of Adeles on that side. On a dribble penetration right there, he tried to get to a help side, but you know, that corner's gonna be free each and every time, and you gotta take it and make it. Escalambre working the two-man game with Marilao. Danny decides to kick it out. He sets a screen this time for Comia. Jeff, free throw line jumper, that's pure for Jeff Gomez. And he, he does it with so much calmness, you know. He knows the defense. Gayosa tried to be the same down low. The big. The lead is 11. Gayosa tried to fish for a foul, no whistle blown. But so if you're, if you're uh, Jimenez, you don't go into Max's office and <laughs> take over. At that time, Benji Jimenez steps into his own office and shows Max Avila the welcome ceremony. Sarangani extending their lead to 15, 56 to 41. Sevilla trying to redeem himself, and mm -hmm. that time he gets the deuce. You know, there's no way you can do that. Right here, single coverage by Jimenez. Just Max Sevilla just kept on shoveling and shoveling until he got it. His team up by 18, 61 to 43. One minute in change, and Natitara Dito's a third quarter. Vito finds his way into oh, the lane wow. and will go. They try to go to Sevilla. That ball is stolen. De La Cruz has Coelan trailing him. He'll take it for himself. And Max Sevilla right there. Look at this finish though. Sliced up that defense. Knew he could finish. It's practically on two versus two. First points of the game for Riz De La Cruz. really did them in this situation and it did really help that there were a lot of players who have gone in and out of their oh, roster right. throughout the year that's why it's very hot and this a little brush screen Komia gets it Benji for three that's good just another day in the office for Mr. Jimenez well that, that big wall finally manages to split the defense sorry miss Elad is there no defense easy pickings for the big man no, the big man staying very basic. You get like glue. Eight on the shot clock. Gayosa gets it, turns the corner. Elbow jumper, gets the roll. Jeremy Monton. Now no, you gotta make them pay. They're scrambling down the floor. No, they're back already. Wong gets ahead. Three pointer, that's good. Denzel Wong dialing it down from the outside. The lead is down to nine. Ejected that ball screen weight on the lane side and put up that three and we've been talking about it that defense has been very honest with Denzel especially on that previous uh, set this time around you let him go hit that screen gonna make that shot shot the defense came in late Sarangani playing man here Vito early in the oh, shot clock shot. another three pointer for Bicol and the lead is down to six and this two possession game look at this one Jeff goes under B2 says, you gotta pay for this. That's worth three points. The help coming in late because of the switch. Kawilan, who's gonna take it here for Sarangani? Pool, no good. That's a back iron three Ooh. and the rebound collected by Elad plus a foul. Very immense 
para sa Volcanoes as they cut the lead down to six now. Brian Ilad at the line for a couple of charities. Ilad has one maybe on a three-point play, or four-point play rather. Perfect. Escalambre back to Comia to the corner. Kawilan. Ilad was too oh. far, and JP makes him pay. You do not leave a guy like JP Kawilan getting the score of the pass by Jeff Comia. Yeah, two steps away, you gotta make them pay, and exactly what JP did. Ilad just late on that closeout. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's turn you over to Miss Mita. Floater, no good. Pool gets it, loses it. Ilad, couple of picks, gets a couple of Marlins mm -hmm. in the air. On his previous trip, Carles Calambre giving us a smile here in the broadcast booth. <laughs> First one is a miss for Ilad, and that's still for that eighth slot. Uh, pretty much in there, but they gotta win their next two games against Jensen and Kaloka in games and in the season right here, especially in the remaining games for Biko. But just not really there para sa kanila. Could not get the good finishing kick, Sarangani. For that sorry miss early in the quarter that could have doused on the hot rally for Bicol.